Hey Capricorn, Angel here. Welcome to Akashic Affirmations. Um, I am a police officer for one, right? Um, it was kind of fun dressing up, but I was like, this, it just, it's cute and all, but, uh, okay. Let's cleanse your cards. But anywho, guys, go outside, you know, Zachary, for, for Halloween. So, um, I have two other readings after this, y'all. Um, I'll do a singles and a couples uh, for you guys. Then I will do Aquarius couples, singles and couples. And I'll do Pisces, singles and couples. The rest of them um, are up there on my website or on my channel available but anyhow anywho guys I now invite my most high loving possible angels to help me to tune to your love guidance frequency and messages and so it is this is going to be a reading for the sign of Capricorn it's the most accurate and present messages available spirit for my singles we love and thank you for your guidance. And so it is. So you have been stuck. No movement with a relationship. Um, Y'all had problems, huh? All right, let's see what's up. Seven of Cups. Pick up our dime. So, there's been some um, people, some new people coming at you, Cap, huh? Um, wanting a relationship, wanting, you know, the hoo-ha, hoo-ha. Uh, hmm, let's see how you're thinking about it. King of Wands. Uh, could be a fire sign. But, like I said, Ace of Wands and the King of Wands. This is somebody who is like, oh, I want you. I want you. They want your passion. And this is, um, that's many options. Chariot. So, this is, um, to actually do this. To, to give passion to someone um, is rather new to you. And it could be, uh, it couldn't, it, you know, not everybody um, realizes this about you, okay? <laughs> the devil. So they may think that you are promiscuous. They may, you may have, um, you know, who knows, you may have been a stripper or something and, you know, uh, people perceive to think you one way, but you're actually not. Eight of Cups, emotionally walking away from, um, at one point, you had a happy home and a happy life, you know, kids look at them happy, frolicking in the grass and, you know, y'all raising these kids together. But you're now emotionally walking away from that because uh, it broke your heart. There was a, ooh, look at, and... What's coming out to me in this card? What? Ooh, I don't. I don't even know what this means. But normally, I see this girl crying. Right now, what's noticeable to me is all the blood that's being shot out of the holes of this heart. It's like not only do they have these two huge gashes, you know. But actually, they have many different holes that this 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 did to you. So, you taking this new beginning. 
full force. I mean, let's see. So you want a new beginning because you just, you, you're tired. You, um, there may have been some secret addictions, okay? I didn't want to say anything, but there may be movement uh, with that. So you may not be having that problem right now. Emotionally walking away, you know, like you dealt with that. You have movement with it. Um, you moving away from this, right? Because it broke your heart. You want a new beginning because you want the cycle completed. You want victory in your life. So you feel that you have no victory right now because, or before, because you wasn't moving out of addiction. Now you're having a lot of people come at you with passion. Maybe because you stopped being addicted to something. Let's see. The magician. So you manifested using your intuition about going away. So there were some, some things that you were noticing in your head. that said, I need to stop all of this. I need to manifest because I know I need to get up out of here. I need, I need to go. Um, oh, I was about to curse. Effing quickly. Look at that. He's running. No, he ain't walking. And look, ain't the birds are following him. <laughs> uh, could have been someone you were giving to. Someone new could have been a young, immature fire sign. So this has a lot. To, you may have been given to some or some fire sign. But you had to run away from it. Bottom of the deck. And so now you are feeling like you again. This is the woman who is creating her own abundance. See that the money coming from the trees? She's creating her own abundance. Let's see. Ten of Cups, Four of Wands, Wounded Warrior. Um, um, nine of wands. Um, so you, you love having a, a happy, um, emotional, um, happy oriented home. Okay. You love having that, but you've been hurt. Look, see, you wasn't having it. So you had to use your, your, that's. Uh, like the queen of hearts off with your head but you had to use that voice okay just a queen of swords so you weren't having it so you had to use your your logical mouth okay to portray your thoughts about of building with people See, there's three people that's building something. See how they're working on something together? So you had to put a stop to it. Yeah, Knight of Wands. This is taking action towards committed strength, which was going to blow up somebody or your world. 
So after I'm gonna leave it there. So it's kind of like leaving you in limbo. You see how she's suspended in the air? It's like, oh. So you, you're at a point in time where from what I see is if you release all of this in which I see that you want to do because you're using your intuition Because you was doing this to yourself. You was manifesting this. But right now it leaves you in limbo. Alright, spirit. Limbo what? With having patience. Having patience for what? Because you're holding on to something. You're holding on to this. Alright, spirit. Tell me what I need to know about this reading here. Give us a little advice, Spirit. Some guide, some calm words, inspirational words for Capricorn. Oh, it won't go back in. It says the worthiness. Bucks. Hang on, guys. Let's see. Okay. Your worthiness is never in dispute. Only your acceptance of it. You are worth more than you have allowed before. Now is the time to endorse your self-esteem. When you compare yourself to others, you will automatically use a linear scale, and yet your worth is not something to be measured. Your worth is boundless and universal. Feel it. Okay, my singles. <laughs> that was a little deep, but you know, you have to realize when spirit wants to get something as personal as something like this out there's a reason there is a reason so what you may want uh, I'll suggest going back and um, looking at it again but we're gonna be going to our couples couples in union Spirit for Capricorn. Our couples in union. For Cappies. I know I like saying Capricorn. I'm half, I guess. I'm on a cusp. I am the cusp today. So. All right, this is going to be for my couples in love or in a relationship, all right? All right, let's see, guys. All right, next is hot down. The Hanged Man. The Three of Swords. Wow, is this a continuation of the reading before? Two of Pentacles, Hierophant. So for my couples, um, you don't know what to do about a commitment, okay? You don't know which direction to go in uh, because there's been some problems um, hanging around, okay? You want to resurrect uh, because um, you keep looking back at your broken heart, so you want to you want to reawaken something within you. Um, 
but you keep looking back at your last relationship and home life. You want to uh, take the initiative and, and be the person that you're supposed to be, but there's been some um, things that you haven't seen when it comes to the choices that uh, that you had to be strong about. Some choices that you made that you're now having to be strong with. You're having to um, to take the uh, initiative on this new inspiring way of being. Um, this is, uh, I feel that now, um, this is like feeling like you, okay? You know, creating your own money and, and things like that. You have such a big heart, but you're not going to just give it to anybody. You love yourself. You, you're taking this, this new love that you're feeling within you and being that, that strong person that you expect yourself to be by reawakening. See you strong and reawakening that. Uh, this is uh, feeling like yourself again. See, I know it. You know, this is feeling like you felt once before and uh, that you want to feel that way again. Let's see what it is. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Cups. It's the love that, that you're feeling right now. But, you know, you got to stop holding on and looking. You need to turn this this girl around okay look at things from a different turn her right side up look at her get the bigger picture you had a broken heart okay all right juggling commitment yeah you know You just didn't want to make that decision. It was just, uh, is what it is, huh? All right, let's see. For my couples, Spirit, what would you like to tell my couples with this spread? Okay, self. Mm -hmm. Humility. And growth. Right. The self remains true. The self remains pure. Your ego may be trying to take you away from the knowing of your whole self. Do not be troubled. Do not be misled. Your self is totally unlimited and is guided by your heart and soul. All you need to do is listen and trust yourself. Humility. Allow any, let's see, allow an unpretentious but confident air to surround you. Live your truth lovingly. Be prepared to work in service to others without obvious personal gain. Love and enjoy that you can give and feel good about your place in the big picture. Now is not the time to rock the boat or stand on your soapbox. Growth. All movement is growth. Acknowledge your growth. 
And as you do so, you will find your pathway changes and expands. Do not judge it. You have grown beyond old directions, so perhaps you are ready to create something new. Alright guys, if this reading resonates with you, please give me that thumbs up. Look down in the description box below on how to find me regarding a personal reading. Um, it's been an adventure, guys. So, uh, you know, like I said, it only comes out what wants to come out at the time it wants to come out. So, uh, yeah, there's been a lot of past... Uh, things happening because it is Mercury retrograde. Mercury goes a retrograde three times a year. Okay, and it lasts for um, on the average of about um, a month and a half. Okay, almost two months. So you may want to set your calendars. Okay, um, the first of the year. You can look at your phone, put it in, and it tells you the three times that Mercury goes retrograde to look for signs of the past coming back to haunt you. Okay, also be a, uh, aware of um, electronics and things like that. Um, like I want to say, if there's things that can go wrong, Mercury retrograde will normally make it happen. All right, guys, and it make it happen. <laughs> All right, guys, love y'all, and um, I will see y'all Thanksgiving. Namaste, my friends. Till next time.